Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Will and this is a thing uh, to read at some point or another. David Joy has, well, first things first, I'm going to list his novels and we're going to go from there. So he has written, When All Lights Tend to Go, The Weight of This World, The Lines That Hold Us, Where the Mountain Burns. So, Where the Mountain Burns is his new book coming out this year. He is also a short story writer, a novel, um, an essayer, and he has written some non-fiction, including a Growing Gills, a Fisherman's Journal, and a um, Gather at the River. Uh, 25 authors on fishing it. Not only is he a fantastic writer, he's a writer that has kind of gripped me in a way not many writers have. He feels like a missing voice. He has written books that not only deal with world issues, but also issues that are unseen the underclass or the working class, people with true problems that are never quite looked at or never quite kind of ignored by modern society. His books cover everything from drug addiction to poverty and to countless other things. He is a Southern Noir writer that has created something rather special. He has created books that tell these stories of this underclass, of these people that are just want to have a good time and live life, that are struggling, that are looking for work, that deal with PTSD, that deal with their issues, that deal with poverty. He is a missing voice that in modern fiction is often so far removed. He's a writer that really should be paid attention to, and I want to give you a few reasons why. Other than dealing with an unseen an, an not unseen, but an ignored group of people and class of people. He talks about your parent. He talks about the woman in the trailer park, the girl that wants to have a good time, the boy that's come back from war, a bit broken. He has touched a voice that is so missing. He is also a hunter, a fisherman, and actually, I am not a fly fisherman, but I did read the fish, um, the fly fisherman's journal, and I did read Gather at the River just because of his writing style. He is compelling, interesting, in this sort of slow paced, but it, that's the word to describe his writing. It's slow paced, or it needs to be, but it keeps you reading. You put his books into, to anything, and you just you hear his voice talking. He has a very distinctive accent that Southern American and it it shows through in his work. You can hear his accent almost with the characters that he writes. I've basically I've read through his entire bibliography and I want more. I've pre ordered his new book because why not? He is a writer that has just all attention to so many things. It's strange when you find that writer that makes you stop and read their work. You, He is one of them. There's only ever been a handful of writers like that. And I even persuaded my local library to buy a couple of his books to put into the system. He is a writer that has created something unique. And in this day and age where every book is safe, where everyone is perfect, where readers ignore the... Readers only want to read someone else's life person that with problems, a person with issues. I think that he reflects so many real stories going on in modern America that it's a shame that no one seems to talk about his books on this platform. Booktube is missing real life experiences or books that reflect real life person. Read David Joy, enjoy his work and go straight into it. You won't be disappointed. You won't be able to put them down. He is a writer with such a unique voice.